today I will make a short video about the best pre-built gaming PCs under $800. You will have all of the links to these PCs down below in the description. We are going to go from the cheapest to the most expensive one and I will tell you which one is the best deal out of all of them. Now let's start. With the first gaming PC we have the Alien Gaming Stinger Desktop. This one is $600 and the cheapest one on the list and it has the Ryzen 5 3400G which means that has the AMD Radeon RX Vega 11 graphics, 8 gigs of RAM, 240 gigs of SSD and a 550 watt power supply. What I like about this PC is that it's upgradable so in the future maybe you want to put a graphics card, maybe like a 1650, 1650 Super, whatever the case is, you will be able to upgrade it later because it has a 550 watt power supply. But to start gaming at 1080p is not that bad, I think it's a really decent deal if you want to play games like Minecraft, Fortnite Battle Royale, Valorant and other light games that won't require that much like Roblox 2. For games like Fortnite, this one will average around 60 FPS on performance mode at 1080p. One thing to consider is that I recommend you upgrading the RAM to 16 gigs. this way you can run games like Fortnite at around 90 FPS average and every single game we have better 1% lows and this means that the game in general will be less laggy, the FPS won't drop as much. So overall I think it's a decent deal but if you have an extra $100 or $200 more you want to keep watching this video because there are better deals. With the second gaming PC on the list is the iPython with the Ryzen 5 3500X and the GTX 1050 Ti. One terabyte of hard drive and 8 gigs of RAM. Once again I recommend you upgrading the RAM to 16 gigs but overall it's a pretty decent deal for $750. The GTX 1050 Ti it's a little old but it's really good for gaming considering that you are pairing it with the Ryzen 5 3500X which is a great budget CPU. If you add the RAM you will be able to run games like Fortnite at around 140 FPS average, other games like CSGO at around 200 or more FPS average, so this gaming PC is really good and is meant for competitive games at 1080p. If you don't upgrade the RAM you will have worse 1% lows like I said before but you can always upgrade it later if you want, you will have the link to this RAM down below in the description as well. One thing I like about this PC is that it comes with 1TB of hard drive and 256GB of SSD, this means that you can put your windows on the SSD which is faster and your favorite games on the 1 terabyte of hard drive because it's more storage. For games like GTA 5 you will be able to run them at around 60 FPS on average on high settings. And for the best gaming PC under $800 we have the HP Pavilion 2260 XT. This one has the latest i5 11400 and the GTX 1650 Super, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD. Once again I recommend you upgrading these components but this time you can do it from the website by clicking on customize and buy so you just customize the gaming PC is going to be a little bit more expensive but I recommend you doing this. If you can't do it right now don't worry you can do this later on. The GTX 1650 Super is a much better GPU than the 1050 Ti and it's one of the best budget GPUs at the moment. You will be able to run every single game at 1080p. There is no game that you won't run at 60 FPS average except for Fly Simulator. So if you want to play games like GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, Fortnite, Valorant and a lot more you can do this without any problem and if you upgrade the RAM you will be able to run Fortnite at around 200 FPS on average and that's pretty good for an 800 gaming PC considering the GPU prices nowadays. So my recommendations for every PC is upgrading the storage if it's less than 500 gigs of storage overall and upgrading the RAM if it's less than 16 gigs which on this video was every gaming PC because companies don't like to put 16 gigs on budget gaming PCs, I don't know why, maybe it's expensive for them, who knows. So if you are considering to buy a gaming PC under 800 or you can buy it for 800, I recommend you buying the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop but if you can't buy it because you don't have the budget, I recommend you going for the iPython one. On the other hand, if you have a higher budget, maybe like a thousand dollars budget or even more, you can watch my video about the best pre built gaming PCs overall of the month by clicking on the top right of the screen. That was it for today's video, if you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you, please leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content and you will be supporting me a lot by doing that. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.